What's going on car family? I'm Ben Wayne. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today we are here at Atlanta Classic Cars Mercedes-Benz. We're going to be taking a look at the 2018 Mercedes-Benz E400 Cabriolet. This particular model is shown in a beautiful selenite gray and it features a macchiato beige and nut brown leather interior with a natural grain light brown elm wood trim which looks stunning. Now if you've been with this channel for a few weeks or a few months or so, you'll remember that we took a look at the 2018 E400 Coupe. Now the Coupe and Cabriolet share a lot of the same details, so I urge you to check that video out as well. So today, let's take a look at the exterior and interior details of this 2018 E400 Cabriolet and see how this ride has been engineered for excellence. Let's start off the review by taking a look at the exterior design of the E-Class Cabriolet. Now, if you were to compare this directly towards the C-Class Cabriolet or the S-Class Cabriolet, one of the first things you're gonna notice is that there's a lot less body sculpting on the side panels. And the result of that is an overall more relaxed design. Now, under these sculpted panels sits a structure that is composed of high strength steel, ultra high strength steel, and aluminum for a weight reduction. Now, to further assist with weight reduction, this car does also come equipped with aluminum body panels such as your hood, front fenders, and trunk lid. Now, the vast use of aluminum in this car is used to help increase the overall efficiency of the vehicle. In my opinion, one of the most important improvements when comparing this E-Class cab to the previous generation is the additional 4.4 inches that has gone towards the wheelbase. Now, in our review of the E400 Coupe, we discussed how that effectively lowers the vehicle's center of gravity. In other words, surface imperfections and bumps in the road will be felt a lot less by the occupants of this car due to the extended wheelbase. In addition to that, the 4.4 inches also translates into an additional two inches of legroom for the occupants in the rear. In addition to the E-Class cab's 4.4 inches to the wheelbase, the E-Class cab also comes standard with a lowered suspension, which further enhances the vehicle's stability, agility around corners, and overall adds to the vehicle's sleek appeal. Now let's talk about a feature I'm sure everybody watching this video is wondering about, and that is the automatic soft top. The E-Class features, of course, a three-layer acoustic automatic soft top, and it's nearly one inch thick due to the insulation placed in the soft top. So what does that mean? That means you're gonna be able to have a nice, quiet, relaxed ride when the top is up. And look how it's been tailored to the vehicle. There are no bumps or anything. It just looks like it's a perfect fit. And one thing I do want to point out is that even when the top is raised, due to the lack of a B-pillar, there's still a sense of open airness in the vehicle while you're driving with the top up. So now let's go ahead and lower it back. The top is available in up to four different colors and can be operated at 31 miles per hour and just takes 20 seconds to be raised or lowered. It all happens so quickly and quietly. It's a nice seamless system. And just like that, the top has been raised or lowered with the remote. Mercedes-Benz has incorporated certain technologies into the E-Cab to make this ride exceptionally comfortable, especially with the top down. For instance, you have Mercedes-Benz Air Cab, which incorporates a speed-sensitive airfoil at the top of the windshield. When this raises, it helps push the high-pressure air over the cabin. Now, in addition to that airfoil, there is a wind deflector that is placed between the rear headrests. When this wind deflector is raised, it prevents that high pressure air from coming into the low pressure environment. In other words, it helps promote a nice quiet environment while traveling at high speeds with the top down. So you can play your radio without having to blast it just to hear it. You can talk to the person sitting next to you and just be comfortable while traveling at higher speeds with the top down. Furthermore, when you have the top down on cooler days, Mercedes-Benz also implemented their air scarf technology. So there's a vent in the headrest here, and there are two fans that are placed inside the headrest. These fans are used to blow hot air around your neck, hence the name Air Scarf, and allows you to enjoy the car with the top down much longer year round. Taking a look under the hood of the E400 Cabriolet, you'll find that it's powered by a three liter bi-turbo V6, which produces 329 horsepower at 5,250 RPM to 6,000 RPM. Now the impressive part is, is that it generates 354 pound-feet of torque 
at the low engine speed of 1600 RPM stays flat to 4000 RPM. This engine is also connected to the new 9G Tronic transmission, which ships exceptionally quickly and smoothly as well. Zero to 60 comes in 5.5 seconds. So now let's take a quick listen to how this engine sounds. So now that we've heard how the engine sounds, let's go ahead and close the hood and take a look at this car's interior. The first thing I noticed when sitting in this car is how comfortable the seats are. And that's extremely important because remember, the E400 Cabriolet is a car that has been designed for cruising. The seats are exceptionally nice. They are finished in a nice macchiato beige. They have nice side bolstering. They're fully adjustable. And also remember, I did mention they have the air scarf system to blow warm air around your neck when you have the top down on cooler days. They feature three levels of heating and three levels of ventilation as well. The overall interior of this car is just, it's pretty nice. I love the way this car has been specced out with the macchiato beige leather and nut brown accents. And it also goes nice with the natural light brown Elmwood trim as well. At the top of the dash, you have nut brown leather. Coming further down, this car is equipped with the P3 package. So you have dual 12.3 inch display screens, which look stunning. They're very vivid and bright clear and easy to read. I love how there's just a huge display for the navigation system as well. Further down, you have four turbine style like air conditioning vents. Just rotate right to close and then left to open again. Further down, your controls for your dual zone air conditioning system. There are two cup holders placed in the center and then controls for your command system as well. Coming over to the steering wheel is finished in that beautiful nut brown leather again. And I do want to make mention that it does have touchpad controls that allows you to manipulate the instrument cluster and your secondary 12.3 inch display screen so you don't have to be distracted while driving. Behind the steering wheel sits two aluminum shift paddles, the left paddles to downshift and the right paddles to upshift. Taking a second to sit in the rear of the E-Class Cabriolet, I do want to say it is quite comfortable. You can really feel the effects of that additional 4.4 inches to the wheelbase as it translates into additional legroom. So I have about an inch and a half to two inches of space between me and the driver's seat. So I don't feel cramped in the back at all. And of course, since this is a convertible, there is limitless headroom. That was a brief overview of the 2018 E400 Cabriolet. What a top-down cruiser. This is an exceptionally nice vehicle. The ride is silky smooth, and I love the spec on it with the selenite gray, macchiato beige, and nut brown leather accents. If you're interested in this vehicle or any other Mercedes-Benz, please be sure to contact my friend Jesse Cannon Wallace here at Atlanta Classic Cars. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll catch you in the next video.